Hello and welcome to my tutorial on how to share a screen image on an iOS device by extending our Unity plugin. We will add a share function to our plugin code that will make use of the standard iOS Activity View Controller. Using this view controller is quite complex and powerful and will require a setup that is dependent on the device being used. Once again, this tutorial assumes a reasonable familiarity with Unity, c -sharp, Objective-C, iOS programming and Xcode. Let's get started by loading up our previous project in Unity and adding a share button to the scene. In the hierarchy view, click create and select UI button. This will create a canvas and add a button directly to it. Select the button, adjust its anchor to be top center and set the Y position to minus 15, which should put the top of the button against the top of the screen. Expand the button in the hierarchy and click on text and change the text string to share. Now, double click our plugin test script to open it up in Visual Studio so we can add the C -sharp share function. First, let's add the reference to the external iOS method that we'll use. In this section with our other external declarations, add the following two lines. DLL import underscore underscore internal private static extern void iOS share screen image byte array image png long image len string caption int callback callback. We're going to need a public reference to our UI button, so add the line public button share button. We'll also need to add the appropriate using statement, so you can right click on button, select quick fix, and then using unity engine.ui. Comment out the line in our start method that randomly shows the alert dialog. We'll use the alert dialog to let the user know when the share method is finished, along with the completion result later. Let's add the method that our button will hook into. This method will call into another method that will actually create the screenshot and share it. To make our screenshot clean, we'll hide the button before we take the screenshot and then restore it when the screenshot has been shared. Add the lines, public, void, share screen, tapped. Open brackets. If share button not equals null, share button dot game object dot set active false. Share screenshot application dot product name plus open quotes screenshot close quotes comma int result lambda debug dot log share complete with result create iOS alert new string array share complete share complete with result plus result comma OK. If share button doesn't equal null share button dot game object dot set active true. We're using an anonymous function that will be called when the share function completes. This lets us re-enable the button and pop up an alert with the result value from the share function. The next section is also quite complex. It involves saving off a reference to the past function, a callback function that will receive the success fail status from the iOS activity share function, a method to take the screenshot, and then a coroutine to wait for the end of the frame before grabbing a copy of the frame buffer and passing it to our iOS method as a PNG. First, let's create two static variables. One to hold the past function reference, static system.action int share complete action. And one to hold a bool state that will be true while we're sharing a screenshot. Static bool is sharing screenshot. This is to prevent the method being called while we're waiting for a previous call to complete. Now we'll add the callback function that will be called from iOS. In order to do that, we need to mark it with mono p invoke callback so the compiler knows to marshal the call correctly. Open square aot dot mono p invoke callback open parentheses type off open parentheses int callback close parentheses close parentheses close square static void share callback int result debug.log Unity share complete with result plus result. If share complete action doesn't equal null, share complete action result. Is sharing screenshot equals false. This is similar to the callback function used by the alert view, and in fact uses the same int callback type. When this function is called, it will trigger the stored reference to the function passed into share screenshot. If it's not null, and clear the is sharing screenshot flag as we're finished. Now we're ready to add this share screenshot method. This method will make sure we're not already sharing a screenshot and then start a coroutine that will create a texture containing the current frame buffer. As recommended by Unity, we'll wait for the end of the next frame to ensure the frame buffer is fully rendered. Add the following lines. 
public void share screenshot string caption system dot action int share complete if is sharing screenshot debug dot log error already sharing screenshot aborting return is sharing screenshot equals true share complete action equals share complete now we grab the screenshot and send it to iOS start coroutine wait for end of frame caption the coroutine will wait for the end of the next frame and then send the texture we create to our iOS method add the following lines to complete our C-sharp modifications I enumerator wait for end of frame string caption yield return new wait for end of frame texture 2d image screen capture dot capture screenshot as texture debug dot log image size plus image dot width plus x plus image dot height byte array image png equals image dot encode to png debug dot log png size plus image png dot length if application dot platform equals runtime platform iphone player then ios share screen image image png image png dot length caption share callback object destroy image after waiting until the end of the frame we grab the frame buffer into a 2d texture from this we construct a png rendition of the image and then after ensuring we're on an ios platform call into the ios method passing the png its length the caption and a pointer to our share callback function. With the C-sharp modifications completed, we need to hook up our button and also set the reference to it for our script. I had to adjust my Unity layout so you could see how I connected the button to the share screen tapped method. Now it's time to update our iOS code. Double click the file my plugin in the plugins iOS folder. This will launch Xcode and open our file. First, Add a method to the My Plugin class that will package the PNG image and caption into an NS array and pass them to an Activity View controller. Before we do that though, we need to add a few extra variables to our class. In the at interface declaration at the top of the file, add these two lines int underscore callback share callback, then UI popover controller star popover. The share callback variable will hold a pointer to our C sharp callback function while the popover variable will point to the popover controller we'll use if the code is running on an iPad device. With that done, we can add the methods we'll need to the main class by adding the following lines before the at end statement for the my plugin at implementation. Void, share screen image, const unsigned char star, image png underscore in, length, long length, caption, const char star, caption underscore in, callback, int underscore callback, callback ns mutable array star shareable items equals ns mutable array array with capacity 2 this array will hold the caption and image so we can send it to the share activity ns string star caption ui image star image if caption in doesn't equal nil caption equals my plugin create ns string caption underscore in shareable items add object caption if image png underscore in doesn't equal nil ns data star png data equals ns data data with bytes image png underscore in length length image equals ui image image with data png data shareable items add object image png data equals nil this will convert the caption if it is set to an ns string and the png data to a ui image note we have to first convert the supply byte array into an ns data object and we'll need the length of the array to achieve this. Share callback equals callback. UI activity view controller star activity view controller equals UI activity view controller alloc in it with activity items, shareable items, application activities, nil. Activity view controller dot completion with items handler equals caret ns string star activity type bool completed ns array star returned items ns error star activity error ns log at activity percent at completed percent d activity type completed if activity error doesn't equal nil ns log at error percent at activity error localized description if share callback doesn't equal nil share callback completed 
Here we create a UI activity view controller with the shareable items array we set up earlier. We also construct a completion with items handler. This function will be called when the user completes the share function, either by selecting a method or by cancelling the request. The completion function will pass the completed bool back to our callback method, assuming it's not nil. Next, if UI underscore user underscore interface underscore idiom equals equals UI user interface idiom phone unity get GL view controller present view controller activity view controller animated yes completion carrot ns log at share presented else popover equals ui popover controller alloc in it with content view controller activity view controller ui view main view equals unity get gl view popover dot delegate equals nil popover present popover from rect cg rect make main view frame size width divided by two main view frame size height minus 10 0 comma 0 in view main view permitted arrow directions ui popover arrow direction any animated yes in order to present the activity view controller we need to use two different methods one for iphone devices and another using a popover controller for ipad devices we'll make the choice by checking the result of the macro ui user interface idiom on iphone devices we can present the view controller using the main Unity view controller directly, while on iPad devices we first create a popover controller and then use the main Unity view as the parent view to present the popover. In both cases, the activity view controller finish method is used to notify Unity that the share is complete via our supplied callback function. Finally, we need to add a cstyle method that our C-sharp code will call into, which will call our new share method on the plugin. Add the following lines to the extern C block. Void iOS share screen image const unsigned char star image png long image len const char star caption int underscore callback callback. My plugin shared instance share screen image image png length image len caption caption callback callback. This completes iOS code modifications. However, we need to add a key to the application's plist file that lets iOS know why we may want to save screenshots into the user's camera roll. Click on the info.plist file in the hierarchy in Xcode. Then click the plus icon to the right of the first line. In the text box that pops up, pipe the following. Privacy dash photo library editions usage description. And then in the string box to the right, add a description that the user might see when they try to save a screenshot. I used allow access to save screenshots. With all these modifications in place, we're ready to build and test the code. Switch back to Unity, give it a few seconds to rebuild the C-sharp code, and then press Command B to start the project building. Once Xcode has finished building the project, the code will execute on our simulator. Tap the share button at the top of the screen and you'll see the activity controller appear. You can then select what iOS will do with your image. If the user selects Save Image, they will get a pop-up asking to confirm access along with the message we added earlier. The share will complete with bool value 1. Go back to Xcode and select an iPad as a target device. Now when you run the code and tap the Share button, you'll see a popover appear and the share activity is in it. Unity continues to run behind this popover as you'd expect. Both types of device will display an alert when the share is completed, with the bool completion status. A zero indicates the share failed, while a one indicates success. If you run on a real device, then you'll get more share options, including iMessage and Facebook if you have the app installed. If you use iMessage, along with the screenshot image, you'll see the caption text we've passed through. Note that the screenshot doesn't have our share button on it, as we hid that before we grabbed the frame buffer. There you have it. We've now added a share function to Unity that allows the user to send a screenshot to various activities on their device without leaving your app. Use this to let users send high score images or new level images to their friends. I hope you find this tutorial useful and are able to add sharing to your apps. As always, please follow me on Twitter or visit my blog. You can see the addresses on the screen and in the text below. I've also posted this tutorial code directly onto GitHub, which is also linked below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.